Hello and welcome to RF design tutorials. This is tutorial 21 on using HFSS components in ADS. Here is the detailed agenda for this session. We will walk through a complete design flow by bringing in ANSYS HFSS A3D COM models right into ADS to perform a full 3D FEM simulation. And I will give you detailed instructions for every step. Now to make this flow working, make sure your file is not encrypted because if it is encrypted, then it can be only opened in HFSS. So we are looking for a plain A3D COM file. And also the file is not parametric. That means you have a fixed geometry, which we can use inside ADS. Now, if you are a vendor uh, looking to provide your 3D models to customer and you want to provide encrypted model, not a problem. You can import your native models into EM Pro, encrypt the model inside EM Pro so that it is fully compatible to ADS design platform. If you are a user uh, looking forward to working with a vendor to provide you 3D models which are compatible to ADS, you can refer them to this video. And it's a very, very simple exercise by which they can give you the encrypted models which can be used inside ADS for layout assembly as well as full 3D simulation. So pretty plenty of interesting topic. Stay tuned till the end of this video. Now, before we start, subscribe to my channel. Once you subscribe, click on the bell icon to make sure notifications are enabled. And after you watch the video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and colleagues who may be interested in watching a similar tutorial. All right, so let's go ahead and step by step learn about bringing in HFSS 3D models inside ADS for simulation. Now to start with, uh, we are going to use EM Pro, which is a full 3D CAD tool from Keysight. And the best part is if you have ADS 2021 and newer releases, EM Pro comes by default. So you do not need to spend any extra money in buying a new license. So EM Pro should be you know, downloaded from Keysight website and you can install. And as long as you have the latest ADS license, it should work. Now, when you are in EM Pro, we go to file import and you can see among many options, we do have HS HFSS options listed here. Now in HFSS option, you need two files, one which is A3D comp or AEDT, depending upon what structure are you trying to import, and then associated SAT file. Once you have these two files, you can bring in any model inside ADS um, via EM Pro. Now here you can notice I have one file uh, which is referred here in the 3D com and another file which is on the SAT file. Now one key thing to note, the file names are different although they belong to the same design. Now, once we have this kind of situation, and if we try to import, EM Pro will give you a warning saying the name of the project and SAT file do not correspond. And it's just a gentle warning to make sure you have the right file combination. And once you confirm, the model will be imported and you can see the 3D object inside EM Pro from HFSS. Now, if your model has any problem, that would be indicated by this yellow exclamation mark. And if you hover your mouse right now, you can see it is complaining about material assignment. Now, A3D Comp um, has all the material information needed uh, for our object. But in case you do a mistake and all the material definitions were not properly defined, sometimes you might see this kind of error. So let's see how can we resolve this. Now, when you import the model via A3D Comp or AEDT, you can see I have three materials which are used in this object. And when I select the objects, which are basically the metal plates of this multi-layer capacitors, when I have all of them selected, I can simply right click, go to material and assign the material. And right now I have three materials in the list and all three will appear here. I can simply select copper. And as soon as the material assignment is done, you can notice there is no problem with the component. And now you have a fully working uh, you know, object which can be imported inside ADS. 
Now, how do we go ahead and add these things in ADS or this model in ADS? Now, before we go there, in case you need to encrypt this model before you give it out to your customer or your partner, you can simply right click and select encrypt. This will encrypt this entire model. And I already have another video showing you the detailed step on how to encrypt the model and bring it into ADS for design and simulation purpose. Now in this case, everything is done. My model is clean. I will go ahead and save this project. And I'm going to save it under the specific directory which I created inside my documents folder. And there you can see I already have a component which I saved earlier using exactly the same process. And that's an LDCC S band filter. So let's call our project as SMT underscore cap. Now, once this file is saved, we can go to ADS and we can add this uh, model inside our workspace. But before we go there, let's do one more model so that I can show you if everything is clean in your imported object or when you created the file from HFSS, it will be very straightforward without any manual intervention. So in this case, I will go ahead again into the same import HFSS option and here in A3D.com, I will use inductor A3D.com and inductor sat file. Now once we import, you can see the object gets imported without any obvious errors here because all the material assignment, everything was proper. Now in this object, if I simply right click on one of this outer shell, make it wireframe, I can see the internals of the, of the 3D structure or the component. Once done, similarly, I will go ahead and save it as SMT inductor uh, component. So now I have three uh, SMT files or three uh, custom 3D files, which I would like to use in ADS. So how can we go about it? So once done, let's switch to ADS. And now here I have a workspace. And in that I have a simple micro strip kind of substrate with corn layer as my metal and hole is the VR layer. Now to add any imported 3D components, whether it is natively created in uh, EM Pro or you got it by importing SAT file or IGS file or importing a 3D com, as long as you have saved it as a EM Pro project, we can go to design kit, manage library and using add library, we can browse to that folder where we kept that. So here under documents, I have HFSS component folder under which you can see there are three designs or three components. So I will go ahead and just browse to this directory. And once we click OK, you can see now the new library gets attached to my workspace. And currently uh, this library has three components and I'm free to use these components in my design. So here in my ADS layout, I have um, you know two transmission lines with two ports connected. And now let's say if I want to place any components such as this LTCC filter, if I expand, I do have a layout or footprint. I can drag either one of them, decide which layer I want to put it on. And currently I only have one metal layer, but in case you're working on multi-layer PCB, or module, you can select the right mounting layer based on your technology. And now once I click OK and I can browse and I try to position uh, my component uh, such that it is aligned to the lines I have drawn. So here I place a simple LTCC component. Similarly, if you want a capacitor or inductor, same way, you can bring those components over, select the mounting layer and you are up and running. So this way it's very easy to bring any custom 3D components into ADS. Now, once I have this LTCC filter assembly, let's quickly provide ground. So let me just draw a simple, you know, <clears throat> ground plane or a metal piece. And then using whole layer, I am going to draw a certain via hole so that I can provide grounding to my uh, filter. So in this case, let me just pick uh, two via holes we copy paste so that my object is properly grounded. Now here, this is my simple assembly. I have my design. Now I would like to simulate it. Now for simulation, I can simply switch on RF Pro 
create a setup and now I already have uh, you know few tutorials already posted on how to work with RF Pro if you haven't watched those you can go ahead and see so here is the full 3d layout assembly with our custom 3d component if you had an encrypted component you will only see a box icon you cannot see any more details now I have two type of EM analysis here and I already have the pins which I placed in the schematic. I can simply drag and drop to create two ports. So here you can see one port at the input, one port at the output. And now from options, I can go ahead and set my frequency range. Let's say from 100 megahertz to five gigahertz. So that's my simulation frequency range. Simulator is FEM and I'm going to use my local resource for simulation. That means I'm not doing any remote, uh, you know, uh, remote Linux server um, based distributed simulation. Now, while the simulation is running, let me show you a couple of other things. Now, once you have this 3D object, those will appear under components section. And right now you can see I only have one 3D component. And if I right click and select wireframe, then you would be able to see all the objects inside that component pretty clearly so that you are not blinded by the uh, dielectric uh, you know, brick which we had here. So along with this, you can also um, you know, set various layers or conductor properties if you are working on the uh, multi-layer you know, kind of uh, stack up. So here we do have substrates, we can work at conductor, uh, via uh, dielectrics and I can switch on visibility of uh, you know each one of them one by one as needed to visualize my geometry much easier. So right now uh, the FEM simulation is working. It will take a couple of minutes to finish um, and while it is running let me show you a few other things which might be of your use. So while uh, we already have this inductor component which we imported Let's say I would like to give this as an encrypted component to my you know, customer or uh, you know, partner. So how can we go about it? So first of all, I'm going to save project as, and here, uh, let me call it ENC to make sure it's encrypted or just to differentiate the name. Now, once I have the new component, and if I want to encrypt this entire assembly, I can select this entire assembly right click and click on encrypt. And as soon as I click on encrypt, you can see there is nothing visible in this component. And now I can save this component and EM Pro will issue a warning saying that this operation cannot be undone. That's fine, we don't want, want to change anyway. So once it is done and we go back to ADS and refresh our workspace once, we would be able to see a new component uh, in this HFSS component library. But I will not do that right now because my EM Pro, my RF Pro uh, simulation is running and it will finish quite soon. But this is how simple it is to bring in any custom 3D model, encrypt it, and then save it to be used inside ADS uh, with the rest of your circuitry. Now, once you are in ADS and you're running RF Pro kind of analysis, it's very, very simple to run EM circuit co-simulations and all those things uh, which, you, which you typically run in an RF microwave application. Okay, so simulation is finished. As you can see, it took approximately three minutes to run. Not bad for an LTCC filter simulation. And now we can look at our S parameter response of the filter. You can see that's the little loss. And then here is the insertion loss or the transmission response profile. Pretty simple, isn't it? So I hope you like this feature and it might be useful for your design work. So thanks again for staying till the end and I sincerely hope um, this content will be useful. Thanks for watching and happy designing.